What is going on guys? Grave here today as I talk about the best way to get sacred, ancestral, and unique items in Diablo 4. And this was confirmed by the developers. Now before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, which everyone is welcome to join. My Twitter if you would like to follow me on social media. And if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you would hit the like button. And I hope you consider subscribing to the channel as well. Now, Joseph is one of the developers uh, for Diablo 4. You can follow all of these devs on Twitter, and they do answer a lot of questions from just general questions to bug fixes to, you know, wanting to know what's wrong with the game from, you know, the community side. So it's a really great way to get some information about the game. And they were recently asked, or Joseph was recently asked, um, about the best way to get sacred and ancestral items. And he responded, items that drop in nightmare dungeon, uh, dungeons have a higher chance of being sacred or ancestral than items that drop out of nightmare dungeons. Also, they were asked, what about uniques? Uniques will also have a higher chance to be sacred or ancestral if they drop in a nightmare dungeon. So he's just kind of confirming this is going to be the best way to farm all of this great gear in game. Now, of course, you're going to have to be in World Tier 4 to get those ancestrals. But if you're in World Tier 2, World Tier 3, you're just now maybe getting to 50, you can still farm Nightmare Dungeons and get a good chance of getting, you know, Sacreds and Uniques as well. Um, these things, uh, the sigils for the Nightmare Dungeons start dropping like crazy uh, after you start playing them. You will actually have an inventory full. I have an inventory full and I also have some stored in my stash because I made, I made a lot of characters in game. I haven't really stuck with just one class yet and I just recently started uh, leveling up a rogue a day or two ago got it kind of power leveled along the way had a friend that's in the 80s that took me through some world tier 4 uh, level 20 to 30 32 uh, top nightmares and I started getting some really great gear from there but you also can get some really good gear from those lower tiers as well I can go in on world tier 3 on some of my other characters and just solo some of those lower tier nightmares like 1 to 5 or if you have friends that you would like to play with, however you want to do this, this is a great way to start getting gear. And then once you have the gear that you kind of were looking for, move up in tiers is the best recommendation that I have because it seems like so far for me anyway, it may not be this way for everyone. But if I'm starting to get some of the you know, lower drops, things that aren't really things that I need in like tier ones, twos, I kind of bump it up to tier four or five, six, seven. And as long as you can solo, uh, solo them, excuse me, you can continue to do that. But if you do need some help, of course, find a friend that may help you. Join a clan, whatever the uh, easiest way for you to be able to find some players to play with. But you can start farming these. You're going to continue to get these sigils to drop. And it seems like, like I said, the devs have confirmed that the best way to get these sacreds, ancestrals, and these uniques will be from Nightmare Dungeons. They're not saying you can't get them from Helltide. You can't get them from World Bosses. But the odds of you getting them from those sources are a lot lower than they are from the Nightmare Dungeons. Which I know a lot of people, may, especially if you're a solo player, you may not like this idea because you can do Hell Tides, you can do Legion events, you can do World Bosses, you know, just out in the open world. You don't have to have a group to do this with. Uh, and you may not have enough time to play all the time to where you have enough gear so you can start soloing Nightmare Dungeons efficiently. I'm hoping in the future maybe they will bump up the difficulty of some of the other open world stuff we have and give you a better chance to get sacred ancestral or uh, unique from other sources but as of right now it seems like nightmare dungeons are the way to go according to the devs and this is probably something that i would say they're not going to nerf anytime soon they're not going to change this if they are the ones recommending you do this activity to get those uh you know those different items that you're looking for but anyway like i said if you have not got into nightmare dungeon farming don't worry uh, once you get there, you will have plenty of sigils that you can do. You can even craft them, or if you start to get some high-level ones that you do not need, you can actually go to the occultist and break them down for the material you, uh, the material you, you will need to craft more Nightmare sigils. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this kind of method that the devs have talked about, uh, how you can get these different pieces of gear and get these sacreds and ancestrals and uniques a lot easier, according to them. Let me know what kind of luck you've had in the Nightmare Dungeons or just out in the open world. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time.